Finally got spooky scenery, a scenery that's Halloween-ish. Hi everyone, happy Halloween. And no, do not comment about how weird my hair looks. Nothing I can do about it at the moment. But maybe you don't even see it. Maybe I'm just talking about bullshit. You remember last episode? In time, you will learn to fear Gaspacho. For Halloween, you gotta play the worst games in a franchise. A franchise that's spooky. A franchise that's in both DreamX TV World Fires and Smash. Oh, cool. Hey, can you get the fuck out of my house? Yeah, that's right. That gazpacho pissant wants me to play the worst games in one of my favorite video game franchises. Castlevania. Castlevania, what a badass franchise. I mean, you start off with a frustrating, yet still one of the most endearing and iconic NES games of all time. The franchise soon got more and more installments after the NES and SNES installments, but there is no doubt Castlevania is still epic. I'm like, seriously, Castlevania. Castlevania, t okay, not you. Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, Super Castlevania 4, Castlevania Bloodlines, Ron Noah Blood, Symphony of the Night, Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, Order of Ecclesia, Portrait of Ruin, Curse of Darkness, Lament of Innocence, Harmony of Despair, Lords of Shadow, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon, Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon 2. <laughs> ah! With a franchise as this big, with this many installments that went on for this long, there are bound to be some stinkers in there. So, this Halloween, I have to play the worst that this franchise has to offer. Starting with... DPX. Uh. Gaspacho, come on, man. No, 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 DPX. I have a list of games I need you to play. What? I can't even pick the games myself? No. Oh, come on, man. Also, can you, can you fucking stop breaking into my house? I will. Once you play these games. And also, in case you want to know Castlevania 2, because all that game is bad, it's not as bad as these games, so. No. Wait, so Gaspacho, why can't I pick the games myself? What? I can't talk right now, I just have some errands to run. You better fucking play those games, okay? Gaspacho? Aw, oh, fuck you. Uh, okay, well, you heard the man, I gotta go play, uh, I gotta go follow this list. Uh, what's first on here? Um, huh? Haunted Castle? It's not even called Castlevania. Well, as it turns out, this is actually a Castlevania game released only in arcades and then later on got released on Switch and PS4 for the Arcade Archives thing. You know, pretty cool. Still a bit bizarre to not call it Castlevania, but let's see how it is. They can't all be bad. Help me! So the game starts with Simon Belmont, I guess, except now he's a Fire Emblem character, at his wedding with, I don't know, Barbie? Man, I can relate. I mean, when I got married, my wife got stolen by a werewolf, then Frankenstein, then Jitters, then Gaspacho, then a mummy, and then... Look, all I can say is I can relate. Okay, so I immediately start playing and... Oh! Okay, Haunted Castle, I see you over there! Trying to see how long it'll take for me to get pissed off! Well, it didn't take that long. Fucking dicks. These bats are the fucking worst, by the way. Look at the way they fly around. It's not easy to hit them, and they don't go away. Also, there's this other platform that I can't go on. Konami! Buddy! Buddies! I'm assuming more than one of you guys made this game. Why is there a platform there if I can't go on it? You think you're better than me, don't you? Oh, okay. So that happens too? Jeez, this game actually hates me. Also, I didn't really catch that originally, but... I'm sorry, that... That statue did how much again? For the first time in my whole life, I'm speechless. No, 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 fuck! What the fuck is this game? Okay, so I'm back over here and fuck, there are too many! 
that was three zombies. Three Jason Voorhees looking at zombies. My, my life, my entire health drained in three hits. Okay, so I'm playing again, and... Fuck! These fucking ba Okay. Now I'm confused. Oh, so you can actually go on that platform, but only if you get hit by a bat. You know what, yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good game design. Very good. Bug tested very well. Yeah, very fucking good game design. Fuck! 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 You're not Simon, I fuck you life! Also, can I comment on that walk cycle? Simon is walking like he got shit up his ass, but also, he's holding his arm for some reason. Did he break his arm? Did Simon Belmont just get attacked by Dracula? You know, just get completely nailed by him and goes, ow, my arm? Did that happen at the wedding? The fuck kind of wedding was this? I can give the game this. It looks really good, and the music slaps. What Castlevania game doesn't have the music slap? But there is so much bullshit in this game. Nothing cool happens until I get here, where the wall is shooting bricks at me these bricks are so stupid let me fast forward okay finally let's go <laughs> okay i finally got far enough past that and I can do this! Okay, I'm here on the platform to avoid the fire and- Nope, I played way too much of this game. We're gonna move on. Oh, would you look at that? There's a lot of Castlevania games for the Game Boy, starting with Castlevania The Adventure. So, let's go play it. Nothing spookier than a monochrome silent title screen. Man, even on the Game Boy, Castlevania music still slaps. Okay, so this is Castlevania The Adventure. I have a few questions. What are these enemies? They are fireballs that turn into slime monsters that turn into humans? Oh no, what's going on? I think I'm... I think I'm passing out. Oh, look, all I want to do is play on my Xbox 5. Also, what's this timer? Am I being timed, or do I have 13 minutes to defuse a bomb? Oh shit, I think it's a bomb. So, I mean, there is nothing happening in this game. No, seriously, I'm really not doing anything. No, for real. No, it's kind of boring. No, I'm fucking serious. It's Why can't I hit that? Simon always hits the candles. What's going on now? Um, actually, this is Christopher Belmont. Not to be confused with Simon, Sid, Richard, Michael, Dolly, Gabriel, or Sonia Belmont. This is Christopher. Where was I? At some point, you come across these eyeballs and fuck them. You know, I think I see why this game is dragging so much. Christopher over here is just much slower. Because we are on the Game Boy, this game is way slower than most of the other Castlevania games. Well, that was lame, but it did get a sequel with Castlevania The Adventure 2 Belmont's Revenge. Huh, strange. A bit better, but they still found a way to confuse me. Why do I start the game facing left, and what's this shit? It's not doing anything when I go in it, but like, what's the point of it? A lot of the jumps are odd. Like, what the fuck is this? There's still one final Castlevania game for Game Boy. Castlevania Legends. Castlevania Legends, developed by Chen. This is the tale of a young girl's struggle to single-handedly provide Transylvania, a place ruled by madness and despair, with the light of hope. Meh. I think he's just being melodramatic. So, in this game, you play as Sonya Belmont along with a butchering of bloody tears. But it doesn't matter. I'm here to slay a bunch of Well, I think it's time we give Pokemon Scarlet and Violet the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so after whipping my kids, get it? It's a fairly basic Castlevania game beating up bats, candles, and, of course, um, just call them Wiglets. Nothing too crazy, but- Holy shit. I'm not even past the first level. 
and you've already given me two sperm enemies. I have to move on before I start a lynch mob. Alright, what's next on my list? Hmm. Huh. Castlevania Chronicles. Weird, look at that box art. Huh, Simon kind of looks a bit like... Don't know, why does Simon Belmont look like that? Okay, I got my answer. That's the whole fucking reason why I'm doing all this, I guess. Well, let's go play Castlevania Chronicles. Castlevania Chronicles. Let's go. So we start with a typical PS1 cutscene. Typical, right? Alright, Castlevania- wait, oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry, did the game just give me a second title screen? Also, I just want to mention that your two options here are start the game and sound mode. I wasn't even, you know, gonna ask. Enter a name? Um, I don't know. Name him, uh, Thaf. E ellipses. Okay, ready to hit the town. Okay, so it seems like this is a remake of the original game, but that's about it. As is the theme for this video and this franchise, the music is great, with a nice remix of the original music. Other than that though, it's more or less the same game, until you go down here. Who are these guys? Why are these fish looking motherfuckers attacking me? Castlevania Chronicles isn't a horrible game, but it certainly isn't good. And this is one of two Castlevania games on the PS1, the other being Symphony of the Night of course, which is my personal favorite Castlevania game. Huh? What's that? Do I hear you calling me predictable? Feel unpredictable? What would you say would be predictable if I told you that I have a knife and I'm about to? But look, it was gonna happen. You know, while the PS1 was getting games like Symphony of the Night and, well, Symphony of the Night, a game that helped create an entire genre of video games. The N64, you know, Nintendo, the company that Castlevania was always most associated with, got. Castlevania. Okay, so to be fair, this game is actually nicknamed Castlevania 64 because it's just called Castlevania and it's on the Nintendo 64. There's already another game called Castlevania. But come on, come on, Konami. You can't you can't tell me to not worry about any of the other Castlevania games and tell me this is the only one that matters. No. But this game was supposed to rejuvenate Castlevania. So let's see it. Even before I play the game, and even a small violin that is only the opening to this game, and not much more, Castlevania always has great music. Okay, so I'm selecting an option, and what the f what the fuck is this? It actually blocks the words I'm selecting. The fuck, dude? Okay, do I select Reinhardt or Carrie? Huh? Where's Simon or Richter or the? Fucking Medusa heads. Instead, I got Discount Simon Belmont and Carrie. Well, I guess I'm gonna select Reinhardt before I get carried away. You see the joke there is that her name is Carrie and Carrie also means long text scrolling for nearly a whole minute. World building for nearly a whole minute. Exposition for nearly a whole minute. Narration for nearly a whole all right, you know what, let's move on before I get stuck on that for over a whole minute. So this is Castlevania, but for a new generation, I guess? During a time where every game decided to make the leap from 2D to 3D, well, Combat, Earthworm Jim, motherfucking Frogger. But how does Castlevania in 3D hold up? It's bad. It's weird, the game feels like it's trying to be Castlevania, but also a third-person action-adventure game, which was, at the time, starting to become a thing, but I don't think it works. You have a game that clearly doesn't know what it wants to be, so it's just... It's just... It's just... It's it's like... It's just... It's lame. I remember for a while the internet hated this game and hated what it did to Castlevania. And while it's certainly bad, I don't really think there is much to say about it here. I mean, even in the opening, what do I do? You see what I mean? Konami thought that you can just take Castlevania and add a third dimension to it and everything will just be completely fine. No! It doesn't work like that. And that's why the later 3D Castlevania games kind of changed things up, you know? And yeah, other than that, 
There isn't much else to say on Castlevania 64, but believe it or not, there's still another Castlevania game on Nintendo 64. That's right, Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. I'm sorry, what was that? Who was that chasing her? Was that me? Oh no, that was Wiglet from earlier, wasn't it? Was that supposed to set the mood for the game? Because if so, I guess it did set the mood very well. The mood, of course, being confused and also wanting to die. So in this game, I get to choose between Reinhardt and Carrie again. But additionally, I also get the option to play as this Stormtrooper looking ass guy and this dude named Cornell. Oh, and when I say I get the option to choose, I mean I have the option to choose Cornell. And I guess I gotta unlock the other three. Well, guess I'm going with Cornell. It was a very hard decision, I gotta be honest with you. This is just Castlevania 64. I'm not kidding, and I'm technically not even wrong. Castlevania 64 and Legacy of Darkness actually came out within a year from each other. And I don't mean that, like, one came out in August of 1999 and, like, the other came out in, like, June of 2000. I mean, one came out in January 1999 and the other came out in December of 1999. The weird thing is, though, Legacy of Darkness is essentially just more Castlevania 64. I guess the modern day equivalent would be like that time last year when Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut released just a little more than a year after the base game did, but that was with a PS5 upgrade, you know? What was the point in releasing Castlevania 64 if you were just going to essentially re-release that same game 12 months later on the same system and exclusive to that system? Yeah, I kinda got carried away there, but since this game is pretty much Castlevania 64 but more, there's not a whole lot to say about this one. And I know, when you hear the worst Castlevania games, you want to hear me talk shit about the N64 games. But, really, there's not much to say about them. Like, the internet at one point hated them, and I feel like now they're kind of just like, oh, whatever. I feel like they were hated just for the downward spiral it led the franchise in. So for years after that, while handheld systems like the GBA and the DS would get some of the best games that this franchise has to offer, the console games got a little more bizarre. And that leads me to one final game I want to talk about. Castlevania Judgment. Now this game has always interested me because it is a Castlevania fighting game. Now you all know I love fighting games, right? You knew that, right? And judging by, what, the last 20 minutes, you should know I'm a pretty big fan of Castlevania. Right? So without further ado, let's play Castlevania Judgment. Come on, a Castlevania fighting game sounds awesome. Please be good. Okay, so we're off to a great start with this pretty cool opening cutscene that I forgot to turn on the sound for because I'm fucking dumb. Okay, it wants me to name my file. Um, just name yourself... V Vorks. Cause why the fuck not? Okay, so this is the roster. Huh, none of these characters look familiar at all- Wait a second! Guys, who do you think you're fooling? That's not Simon Belmont. That's a fucking Death Note character. In fact, just about every single character in this game looks nothing like how they do in their original games and instead look like characters from Death Note. And as it turns out, the designs for these characters were actually done by Takeshi Obata. If you don't know, he is the lead character designer behind the Death Note anime. That would explain Maria Renard looking like some voodoo magic chick. Eric looks like a, a ten-year-old girl? Carmilla... Well... And Grant... Okay, no. This is Grant from Castlevania 3. In Judgment... He's a fucking mummy! Okay, well, I'm gonna pick Simon Belmont, cuz... Cuz why the fuck not? Okay, the match has started. I'm pressing every goddamn button on the Wiimote. Wait a minute. Are you- are you shitting me? Well, I see why nobody ever talks about this game. Cause it's a fighting game that took advantage of the Wii. 
This means that the only attacks you can do are by shaking the Wiimote. Up and down, side to side. So all you fucking do in this game is spam. Plus it doesn't help that the stages are a little too 3D. Like obviously 3D fighting games are a thing. I mean, just look at Tekken, Soul Calibur, or Dead or Alive. But they're still a bit more confined in their stages. This isn't. So yeah, Castlevania Judgment is just not a fun game. And you know what? I think I've had it with these shitty games. I love Castlevania, and fucking Gaspacho is trying to make me hate it? You know what? No. I'm gonna find him, and I'm gonna kill him. Let's do this. <sighs> Gaspacho! Where are you? Get your ass out here! Oh, where is this motherfucker? I did it, Gaspacho. I played all those shitty Castlevania games. Now just leave me alone! You forgot, have you? Forgot about what? Remember, like 13 minutes ago? Or maybe less? Or maybe more? I don't know. I haven't been keeping track, but I was waiting for you to come see me. What happened 13 minutes ago? Remember the bomb? The bomb? Also, what's this timer? Am I being timed, or do I have 13 minutes to defuse a bomb? Oh shit, I think it's a bomb. Oh, is this the bomb? Yeah. Wait, how did I get this? I wasn't holding it like a second ago. I don't know. OH SHIT A BOMB! Oh, holy shit! Oh my god! Oh. oh, that was fucking awful and I hated every second of that. Uh. Wait, I'm still recording? 